I am starting to think my family is cursed. Cursed to forever choose its friends so carelessly. Betrayal has become a constant threat. For all the smiles and pleasantries each ally shows, I know their daggers are sharpened, and all it takes is the smallest window of opportunity for those daggers to be revealed. My family has been betrayed for generations. Evil Karaunos killed my grandfather, the man who sheltered him and protected him, and still Karaunos stabbed Seleucos in the back. My father too spent many years building relations with the Ptolemies, the Cappadocians and the Antigonids, but yet as soon as they sensed weakness they pounced. And now, it is my turn to feel the burden of betrayal. Bactria, Pergamon, our own people, all of them false friends with liars' smiles. All this betrayal, it weighs on me, like the stone of Atlas. And I look over my shoulder with constant fear. Even my own blood I am cynical of something no father should ever have to deal with. But this is the price for greatness, for power. My father Antiochus warned me of the burdens, but I did not heed him, even after he died of them. At first I was strong and proud, but now I am weathered, worn down like a soft shore in a stormy sea. I pray that gods punish those who have betrayed us, and maybe I can smile once again before I go to meet them. Hi guys, welcome back, I am Red Zed, and today we are continuing our Seleucid campaign in RTR Imperium Serectum version 0.5. Yes, we are back guys, and... Last time, you know, pretty much most of the action was centered on beating back Pergamon over here. We have unfortunately lost a bit of land to the Greek city-states, which is quite annoying, really, because it kind of forces us to try and go and fight them across into the uh, Thracian Peninsula over here. Um, yeah, into Thrace, should I say. But yeah, it's uh, a bit annoying, but hopefully we'll get rid of Pergamon pretty soon. We've got the rest of this army. If we have a look at this city, they are relatively happy already. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to pop that Shrine to Hero in there. The only problem we do have is getting, you know, sort of a uh, a unit across there to man the city, which we can't currently do. So I'll have a look at what potentially we want to do. Hmm, potentially moving one of these guys across. So I think we'll do that. Are they still happy over there? Yes, they are. Just about. Fantastic. Uh, of course, we're moving north from Petra over here towards um, Bostra. And down in the south, we will be leaving this place very, very soon. Uh, Myos Hormos. And coming across to try and take out Thebes over here. And Megala Apollonopolis. <laughs> Which is now their capital. So, yeah. Oh, we've got our little spy here. Let's have a look. So, there's still a few settlements down here that they do have. But, yeah, they really don't have much, do they? So, the Ptolemies are pretty much dead. And then up in the north, we are continuing to recruit our armies uh, and get them ready to go against the Bactrians. This massive Bactrian army, I don't think it's going to attack the city because we have this big army right next to us as well. So, I don't know. But we shall see, guys. So let's press the end turn. Let's see what happens. Hope you're all doing well, guys. I hope you're all doing really well. Uh, this campaign's going fantastically well. Really good fun. Really enjoying it. Um, you know, will we restore Alexander's empire? I mean, we're pretty close, honestly, looking at it. Looking at it. You know, we've uh, pretty much restored the Ptolemaic part. We just need a couple more settlements. Um, and then, you know, Anatolia. Yeah, that's... That's probably the biggest project, is Greece and Anatolia. 
Obviously, there's a lot of settlements on both in both of those regions. So yeah, that's the biggest the biggest issue we've got right now is probably dealing with that. Oh, we've got a load of people coming of age. Euenus. Why is this suddenly so unhappy? What's happened here? Wrong one. Oh, the blockaded. Right. We were recruiting a bit of a navy, weren't we? So I think we carry on with that. Keep recruiting navy. Uh, in fact, we'll recruit ships in here as well. It's going to cost us some cash, but look at that money. We have suddenly started to increase our money quite significantly, which is really good. Um, yeah, and we'll go for Andragoras, the handsome. Hmm. So what I'm thinking is we could leave Alchaos in there to look after it. It's only on 53% though if we do that. So this guy ideally needs to come across and then we'll see whether that's enough. And then we'll have a look at our civil disorder. It's only 63% with that, really? Wow. Well, I think if we get one more of these, we should be okay. But that, yeah, we'll leave Andragoras the Handsome 16. So I'd rather take him with Ariathus than um, Alkaos, because Alkaos is 45. So if Ariathus dies, you know, he's not going to have a long time to live, really. We'll get on the boats, and we can come straight across. That's pretty good. Nice. And we'll siege it down straight away. Fantastic. They don't have much left. They have some Katoikoi phalangites. But apart from that, not too much left. Not too much left. So that's a good coming of age for us. And then we have Polyperchon. Which, in these places over here, what I'm going to do is pretty much leave them double stacked for now. Because... Uh, Selefkos here is 53, so there's a chance he could die soon. So, yeah, we'll leave it. We'll leave that in there over there, and then over here, do we have anywhere that doesn't have a general or ruler? Also, we need to decide on. This guy's got a really good management, really good. I think we can probably try and send him to Pergamon. A really good management. And Pergamon is a huge city, of course. Get going, my friend. So get you in Pergamon. Manage the city. Keep everyone happy. As well as, um, you know, bringing in more money. Bringing in a lot more money. And look at this. We have Hypastists and Agira Speeders here. That is fantastic. That is really good. That means, first of all, we can retrain these boys. Secondly, we can start recruiting some elite units. Look at the stats on these boys. 45 defense, guys. 21 morale. 20 melee attack. Really, really good. Really good unit. Very elite, that unit. And that is really going to help us out against uh, the Greeks on the mainland. And, of course, these units are kind of your flanking units around the side of the... Um, Around the side of the phalangites. So, yeah, that's fantastic. Right, now let's have a look at where we've got civil disorder. In Pergamon, of course. Well, that's fine. It's gone back to being okay. Delos, yeah, is, is really just not happy at all. Um, I'll move that behind everyone. I honestly don't think we'll be able to hold on to Delos. Which is a bit annoying. And these bloody Ptolemaic navies are so... So annoying. So that is why we are building our navies themselves. Making Nidos unhappy. So what we'll do is we'll get the shrine to Tyke. And then Halicarnassus as well is incredibly unhappy. So yeah. Execution Square is the best option over there. And then Baroya. Oh, we don't actually have a... We'll get a, a, a Prodromoy, I guess. That should hopefully take us back up. And then Loranda over here. Wow. Not seen disorder around here for quite some time. But luckily we do have a few archers over there. Okay, I think that's sorted most of that out. So that's good. Most advanced faction is Carthage. <laughs> really? Carthage? You're taking the piss, bro. Game, come on. 
Carthage is more advanced than us. We own original Carthage, so... Yeah, no, no! I, I refuse to accept this! I refuse! I refuse! Uh, but yeah, we've got a lot of building going on, and we're making so much cash now. It is fantastic. And we're going to keep on making more and more cash. The more coastal settlements we take over here, uh, the more that we take down this region. And we can see we are actually starting to trade now. This port here isn't actually trading. And that is probably because there's not enough trade routes on it. Uh, you're going to have a look over here. Uh, but yeah, the more sort of places we take down here that have ports in them, we uh, shall start to be able to... Uh, Trade a little bit more in the uh, sort of Indian Ocean or the, uh, is this the Gulf of Aden? Uh, we've got the Persian Gulf over here. So we should be able to start trading a little bit more around these regions. Like, I'm surprised these are not trading with each other. Seeing as they are all docked up over here. Let's have a look at the income. Yeah, it's only trading via the road. That's very strange because we have free ports over here that you can see will trade with each other. I don't know whether that's a distance thing. What is that? Why? Why are you not trading? You should be able to trade. Why would you not trade? It's very strange. I don't know. Well, I guess that's uh, that's fine. Let's have a look, see whether we can actually leave here now. Just leaving it undefended. I don't think we've got too much of a worry. Yeah, we can. They are actually very, very happy. And then we'll probably just come straight across, take these three before heading back down uh, back down the way. And what we'll do is we'll actually build a watchtower. Actually see a bit more around it, just in case someone does come from the south. And you can see that is actually Ptolemaic land as well. Uh, where are we training these boys? We are down here. I think we'll wait a couple more turns before we start sending them up. Now, up here, we've finally finished recruiting all these archers. So let's get them on the way. And then we'll also bring these three archers. I know it's an obscene amount of archers, but if it's too many, guys, all that will happen, um, we'll just use them for uh, garrisons. So, yeah, it's not too much of a problem. I think... Oh, we've just managed to build... Oh, I thought we were... Oh, we are building the barracks. Yeah, cool. <laughs> I'm just being dumb. Fine. Fine. Yep, you're sieging down there. You're getting in there. You're recruiting Chalka Speeders. I think that's the best option right now. Um, yeah, you're going to need some more men at some point, I would say. Maybe even... I think we can probably send them across now. Unless, what are you building? Yeah, that's... Yeah, that's only going to be 5% extra. So, what I'm thinking is we send you across as well. I don't think Pergamon's going to be too problematic for too long. Yeah, 72% is fine. So, yeah. Except that. That's it's at 68, so the temple should take it above 70. And we will be absolutely peachy. Well, uh, what else do we have to do? We've got to move you guys. Oh, you can quite go quite quite far on your march. Wait, these guys are plenty happy now. So let's get you up here. And hopefully you'll be there in time to join the party. Um, I think that's everyone, isn't it? I think we've moved everyone. And then when all these guys have congregated... We'll be at the point where we can start building our armies up. And we will... <laughs> we will march them together, guys. We will march them together. I don't think we'll be stupid and separate them. Because that would genuinely be a little bit stupid. What's going on here? Got no one on the ship, so that's alright. Why? What? How have they forced us out of the ports? That's weird. At least, wait, we sunk two ships anyway. That's okay. And they stopped... Oh, okay. It rebelled against us. No way. Hmm. Well, that's the first job for that new army that's being built in Sardis and Pergamon. Very much so. Very much so. We've got to find a good general for that as well. Uh, that's going to be a bit difficult. But, 
You know, we have loads of men around here. Loads of men. No, you're 42, so no thank you. Too old. Too old, sir. Too old. Yeah, Delos. Delos is... You know, honestly, I don't know why I do this, because I think Delos is probably a lost cause. 29%. How much of that's from blockade? 65 so They would be happy if they weren't blockaded. But, yeah. Let's start to combine these boys. Get over there. Need a really big navy here because they've got some big navies. And the problem with the navies is generally... Yeah, the problem is generally they die if you don't win the battle outright. So I'm thinking... Would we win this? We should do. We definitely have better numbers. Crushing defeat. Really? We had so much better numbers than them. Oh my god. Well, we're going to have to recruit another navy, guys. I'm going to spend all my money. Oh yeah, he didn't build last turn. That was dumb of me, wasn't it? I'm going to actually build more navy than what we had last time. I'm going to try and get a full... Stack of navy boys. Gonna get more. And even more. A massive armada that will take us across to Greece as well. <sighs> God damn. That is so annoying. And then we've lost Halicarnassus as well. Ah. God damn. These guys are ready for upgrading. Good. Apamea Syria as well. Nice. That guy. That guy's died, okay. Euenus of Halicarnassus has died, of course. Yep. Antipatros the Handsome. Oh, so there was another one in there as well. And that's the Civil Revolt. Right, let's have a look at this first. So yeah, Delos is done. Did we sort out Sea Day? No. Oh, where is all this unrest coming from, guys? Where is it coming from? We suddenly... We had a patch where we had, like, no unrest. 48%. Where does that come from? That is that's seemingly come out of nowhere. Where the hell has that 48% come from? Let me train these boys. Maybe we lost the governor. Oh, we we sent these guys out of here. Okay. That kind of makes more sense. Uh, we're going to send you up to join these boys. Yeah, you can go there. It's fine. Uh, actually, no. Yeah, you won't fit in. That's okay. One more turn and we'll be absolutely peachy. Uh, let's carry on. So that's Alexandra Susia. Nico Media. Wait. Rebelling on 70%. Always annoying when it does that. But yeah, that's fine. Suddenly, so much unrest just coming from our from our places. I'm surprised Delos has not rebelled yet. But very annoying that Halicarnassus has. We've, we've lost the mausoleum of Halicarnassus. Um, yeah, very, very annoying. Right then. I'm going to move you to the end. We're going to... I'm probably going to auto-resolve this, guys, because it's so small. Yeah, they're going to make a lot of casualties. But as long as we don't lose... Any of the men, uh, any of the units, that's absolutely fine. And now we pretty much are in the stage where we want to start making our two armies. Yeah. Get you guys back in there, and then we'll retrain you. And then we'll keep on. And then I think we'll recruit a couple of high pastists as well. Uh, another town grows, Soloy. I've actually not built on uh, <laughs> on uh, Cyprus for such a long time. Should probably start looking at, like, you know, getting a few more shipwrights over here. But yeah, we'll have a look at that in a second. So we've destroyed Pergamon. Our, our navy's been absolutely ruined, which is so annoying. But oh well. What can you do? What can you do? So get these guys. Let's. Come on. There we are. Bastard. Bastard! Siege down Bostra. That's going to be a tough old fight as well. And let's keep on crushing the Ptolemies. Ooh, some of these, uh... 
Some of these units have taken a battering. Look at them. 8, 19, 13. I'm going to move them across that way. So if we do auto-resolve, we, uh, we won't lose those units. But yeah, we might have to send those guys back for retraining. I don't think we're going to be faced by too much resistance down this region. So yeah, I don't think retraining will be too bad. Right then. North we've sorted. Over here we've sorted... Uh, yeah. Now, let's make sure we sort all these buildings out, and then we build the right thing as well. Which will be a temple to Hera. And then we'll get these guys back across. I'm going to move the boat there already. To get retrained at Pergamon. And then we will combine the two armies, and we'll decide what we want to do. I think one of them is going to have to come over here to Delos, because it's going to rebel. Um, and then... The other one, which will be... Yeah, you are not... The understanding of tactics is quite good. Hmm. Okay, in, you know, that's just in friendly territory. Yeah, pessimist is not good. Yeah, we really... Oh, God, look at the amount of influence negatives he's got on his traits. God. Uh, we'll have to find another general out of some of the governors over here. God damn, 62%. Where's that come from as well? Why is it so fluctuating? God damn, bro. Every time. Where's that unrest come from? Apparently got a bit of devastation over here. There must be some rebels or something in this region. Maybe the Greek city-states causing that unrest. Or potentially a spy that we can't see. Oh, God damn, bro. Right, well, we've only gotten through one turn so far, <laughs> so let's speed this up a little bit. Um, yeah, let's go for... Awesome Temple of Tyke over here, going to make us mo loads more money. Spice Road at Antioch over this way. Let's go for the Crop Rotation. Minus City of Edessa. Let's go for the Shrine to... Feistus. No, not that. I mean the Inland Trade Center. Uh, inland Trade Center over this way as well. And then potentially the Agora over at Dura uh, Eperos. Europos, sorry. Uh, elite Tax. Not Elite Tax. That's the uh, Public Baths. Yeah. <laughs> Alexandria Charax. Ephesus. Let's keep going with the Shrines to Hera. Apamea Kibotos. Let's go for the River Ports. Extra bit of cash. And then Sagalassos. Yeah, quite a decent city size now, Sagalassos. So we'll go for the market. Iconian is a minor city over in this region. So I think we'll go for the communal farming. Get a bit of an extra population growth in there. Extra money as well. If we get farming available, we pretty much should take it. We've got mines available at Alusa. So let's go for that. That's pretty good. Good return as well. And Hecatompolos. Hmm, don't really want to build there yet. Goodbye, let's go for the market. Yeah, we've not really done much culture converting for a while. I'm hoping it kind of bleeds through from the places where we've built our Greek uh, colonies. Uh, but I guess we'll see. At some point, what I'm going to do between episodes, probably around episode 20, is go through all the settlements. And I might even record it for a sort of campaign management style video. Um, how to, like, manage your campaign when you get to a large size on RTR Imperium Serectum, where we go through all the settlements, have a look pretty much in depth at the cultures, the culture conversion rates, all that sort of thing, where we're missing out, what we need to do, and, you know, trying to delete a few more units and, and mi ma um, mix and match up the sort of, um, what do you call it, the tax rates as well. Cool. Right, let's press end turn and see how many settlements fucking rebel on us. But, <laughs> oh, god damn, I hate them rebelling on us. I absolutely despise it. What? So we've got two settlements rebel on us there. How have they rebelled on us? God damn. Out of nowhere as well. So I guess that's the first place we're going to go with our army. <laughs> Uh, and we will exterminate. I don't take kindly to people rebelling against us, especially when we're building up those regions, trying to invest in those regions. 
and they do not like our governance, so we will exterminate those fools. They have literally signed their own death warrant there, so yeah. Well done, guys. Well done. So, yeah. We've got Civil Revolt. Delos, I, you know, I don't really mind that too much. But Alexandria Susia is 100%. That is bollocks, bro. That is bollocks. Death stalks the land in Termesos. God damn. Let's get the sewers. That's probably why. We've got coming of age of Antigonos. Antigonos. Here you are. Okay. This guy is actually fantastic. So what we're going to do, you are going to be the leader of our new army. You have plus two morale as uh, traits, which is really, really good. And then we've got Diodotos over here. In the pink is good as well, so this guy might be great. But Gloomy is never good. And yeah, your governor, you might as well stay there. Like I say, a lot of these people are going to start dying off soon. So it's good to keep them uh, in there anyway. And pretty much all of those places have governors. So we're not really missing out on anything by not min-maxing it. So Susa over here. I think we're going to get a shrine to Hera. Uh, yeah, we'll leave that. Alexandria, Ariane, we got that. What? Ah, oh, okay. That makes sense. That makes sense. I was going to say, I wonder why we can't recruit the uh, Chalka Speeders. It's because we don't have this level 3 colony. What is... Oh, look at that. 35% Greek. Let's get that colony anyway. Uh, and Bactria has come and uh, decided to have a bit of a party. But yeah, not really a fan of that. Right, we'll all join up together. Wait. Yeah, they've got people in there, haven't they? Let's have a look. Yeah, it just showed that they didn't have anyone in there then, so that's a bit strange. <laughs> but okay, let's have a look through here, though. Town grows of my Lysa. Let's build that. Arsino Kilikia. Let's build that as well. And then rioting at Nidos. Yeah, we knew that was going to happen. And let's build that as well. And yeah, keep on recruiting these ships. We need a bigger navy. We need to destroy these fools. I hate them. God damn. They are literally fucking up everything that we want to do over here. Absolute bastards. Absolute bastards. Right, we need potentially a Greek Peltast over here, but an Akontistai would be better. Let's recruit two Akontistai in there. Uh, and then, yeah, we'll still keep on recruit some Chalka Speeders, as well as the Hypastis over this region. We do have one of these boys in here. I wonder whether we can leave this not... Doesn't look like it. <laughs> Zero percent. Yeah, great. Um, I really want to get these guys moving. Potentially, we should do this then. To get these guys moving over here. And see whether we can get them off the island. Some faction announcements... Adrissians and the Achaean Leagues and Adrissians and Athens are now allies. Everyone's a bit scared of us, aren't they? Little scaredy cats. You get moving. Right. We've got this battle. You just stand out. I don't want you to be part of it. Well, let's do our building first and then let's have a look at the two battles that we want to do. Oh, we're building quite a lot of places. That's nice. We knew we are making a lot of cash now, which is great. Shrine to Hero there should get down the um, the corruption. Over here, though, corruption shouldn't be too problematic. We're making 3,000 a turn in this city. That's actually very decent, to be fair. Alexandra Carmania. Let's get that trade caravan. And then Alexandria Proth... Let's get that trade caravan as well. And Nicomedia. Let's go for the port over here. It can never... Ne it's never bad to build a port, guys. Never bad. Always makes you a decent amount of cash, especially later game. Uh, then let's go Kizikios over right in the north. Let's get that execution square. Get rid of the corruption we have in this region. Execute those corrupt fools. Uh, Alexandria Troas... Yeah, same thing. Let's just go for a few execution squares. Like, let's have a look at this. This makes 1,600. Well, let's have a look. 
by building that 10% extra um, thing, we're saving 144. So it's pretty much, you know, pays for itself within 10 turns, guys, by building this execution square. Um, yeah, and we're losing you know, 19. Wait. That's saying it's going to make the corruption go worse. I think that's just a bug. That is definitely just a bug, because that extra 10% law reduces the corruption. So, yeah, I guess, yeah, that, that's just a bug. That must be a bug. But you can see that reduction in corruption, guys, really is very impactful. Thyatira. Let's start building a few of the, uh, yeah, a lot of these places don't even have land clearances yet. It's nice to finally be able to get start going down the list and starting to really start to fill it out. Um, and we'll leave about 5,000 in the bank for these uh, for this first battle. So let's build the land clearance there. And then Loranda. Yeah, Loranda doesn't even have a land clearance either. Quite crazy, honestly. And yeah. Really not built up this region at all. So, yeah. Delos, that is frustrating. Oh my god, they got elephants as well! Great. That's lovely. Really, really great. Thank you, game. Thanks for that. Uh, right, let's uh, let's uh, battle over here at Bostra. And um, we're going to fight this because, if we remember last time, it was brutal. It was brutal. And they will, actually, this time... You know, they might not man the walls so much this time. Yeah, we really don't have that much infantry to start taking the walls on. But let's fight it, guys. So I'll see you on the battle map of Bostra. Here we are, guys. Oh. Oh, this is so much better. I, I didn't even register before that it was just... <laughs> just God damn it. Uh, Sto uh, wooden walls. Oh, glorious. Yes, 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 yes. Thank you. Yes. Oh, what a fantastic sight to see, eh? Um, yeah, our Chalka Speeders are going to make mincemeat of those boys. Mince meat, my friends. Mince meat. And our archers are going to have a field day as well. They have got archers as well, so we do have to be slightly wary of that. But I'm hoping our archers will take the brunt of their archers. <laughs> if that makes sense. So let's get going. Let's get crushing them. We'll bring our child speeders here. Yeah, get firing, boys. Get firing. Fire and wave, boys. Fire and wave. I know it's smile and wave, but oh well. Um, yeah, come forward a bit more. They're not liking that, are they? They're not liking the archer fire. Their archers are actually better than ours, so got to be slightly careful of that. What we'll do is we'll uh, just do the classic of just letting our archers deal with these boys. Hmm. These mercenary Arabian archers, I think, are okay in melee as well. What we'll do, we'll just get you guys in here. You guys can fire those. And we're going to, as I say, we're going to use our archers as much as we can. Speed it up. And then we'll uh, get the Chalka Speeders in to fight with the enemy. Uh, we'll send one boy over here, one boy in the middle, and one boy over there. They are firing javies into us now, which is slightly upsetting. But what we're going to do, get you guys over here, get you on fire at will, and hopefully you can, you know, sort of deal with that. Start bringing the archers forward. And what I'm going to do, we're just going to go down the middle, guys. We're just going to go straight in. There's no flanking going to be needed here today. We're going to use the Chalka Speeders as they're designed. And batter away through the enemy. Uh, actually, you. If we could flank these boys, that would be fantastic. I'm going to bring you here to cut that off as well. And we're going to get you in there. Get in. Just get in. Don't want you to use your javies quite yet. You could get, say, there. Wait, who's... 
routing there. I was going to say, our guys should not be routing there. Oof, God, it's, it's so weak, some of these boys, aren't they? Want you. Charge in the back there. You boys, let's get over here. Um, do you know what? Actually, we will flank. But we will flank with our cavalry. Get you boys in that way. Chalka Speeders, get you in. We can get in. That would be great. What's going on here? What? How are you getting through there? I don't like that. Yeah, you boys get in there. Fight them. You boys keep on fighting Nabataean horse archers. He's got his Asian royal bodyguards, but they're getting shredded, actually. Nice. Not even that experienced, this army. It's really not experienced. Antiochus the Angry. He doesn't like the fact that they're not experienced. You boys halt. You were using, you were not using your pikes then, which is terrible. Okay, there he runs. You guys fight those Nabataean horse archers. Uh, get behind, and we'll just get our Chalka Speeders up here. Yes, get there. And what we'll then do, get our archers just behind them, if we can. Just trying to fit them all in there. It's going to be difficult. So, get there. You guys get there as well. Oh, God. Fit in, will you? There we are. This this guy should be should be shredded now. Uh, we'll group you boys together. We're just going to sp splat you in there. They don't have that much left. Ideally, want to just squish them to death. This is so much easier than stone walls. <laughs> oh, fantastic. So glorious. Oh, here comes the general. Here he comes. Charge into that, my friend. Oh, they've not got the pikes. Oh, they do have the pikes down. Didn't have them fully down. Like, only a couple of them had them down. God damn. <laughs> right, let's uh, come forwards. A bit annoying that you can't get in that gap there. So what we might do... Uh, in fact... Get there. Keep coming. And what we're going to do, just get you archers in that block. And who else have we got in here? Got you boys. You get behind. Actually, this is not going to work, is it? They're coming forward now. So halt. Uh, you guys all halt. Halt, halt, halt. Shit, shit. Okay, they've run away. Good. That's actually helped us a bit. Get going. Get going, boys. Right, you guys behind. This is really messy. I've, I've been a bit messy with my gameplay today, haven't I? Um, yeah, I've been a bit a bit lackluster. But, oh well. It's fine. <laughs> you're going to have off days, can't you? I guess you're going to fight them then. <laughs> See what I mean? Bit lackluster. Bit lackluster. But, oh well. You guys all... Get ready. All you archers are in there. That's fine. You're going to start fighting now. I think you can go through. Let's get marching into them. So the pikes are used a little bit. And then we'll halt. And you should put them back down. Oh, yep. Put them back down. Fantastic. Right then. Let's... Uh, hmm... I don't want to... I mean, they are only swordsmen. They're not spearmen. But I don't really want to charge in just yet. I mean, it doesn't really matter, does it? Like I say, we're going to be retraining these boys as soon as we get to... Oh, they've come to meet us. Very good. Nice. Should absolutely shred those boys. Come on, charge them, for God's sake. What are you doing? You just stood there. Charge. Charge the enemy. Should be able to charge those boys in the back as well. We're going to be able to retrain these boys at Antioch. So, like I say, taking a few losses here and there, not too bad. We do still want to have enough to take uh, Palmyra, though, don't we? Get in the back of those boys. They should route. Yep, they have. Now, ideal situation here is if we just, you know, come off the square. So, and they charge us. 
So we can route them, you know. Uh, so, really, I want to drag them off that square. So, yeah, rather than having to, like, you know, fight the whole unit. Well, actually, do this. Just go and get to the point where you can fire at them. You boys, six, all six of you can get out of there. I don't want you to die. <laughs> Waste three bars of experience. Three chevrons, should I say. Are they firing? Come on, guys. Fire. They're really not firing, are they? Go. Fire. What are they doing? Guys, come on. Fucking useless pricks. Fire at them. There we are. They're starting to actually fire now. Come on. Come off. Come off. They're not liking it, are they? There's hardly any of them are firing. What are they doing? I think they're all blocked by themselves. They don't like to fire if there's a unit in front of them. Get in there. We'll absolutely just... We'll just absolutely crush them now. This is going to be a bit of a weird charge. Because they don't like to charge diagonally. That should be enough to break them. Yeah. There we are. <laughs> nice. Nice. They still killed 241. Which, fair play, is a decent result for them. Yeah, some good results. 91 for the bodyguard. 76 for this Hoplites, which only had 50, 50 men. So, decent, decent fighting. And the uh, town is ours. So, I'll see you on the campaign map, guys. Here we are. Glorious. And let's uh, enslave them. Uh, straight up to 70%, which is fine. Uh, they have n uh, native Arab culture, which is fine. Um, it's going to cause a bit of a problem. Their population is just under 2,000 now, so probably after this turn, we'll be able to upgrade it. 2.5% of 2,000. No, it's not going to be next turn, is it? It's going to be close, but it's not going to be quite enough. Let's get that in there. So, yeah, this is a bit... This is just so annoying. Where did that Bactrian army go? Right, let's organize our armies up this region, though. First of all, Adimanthos is going to lead the way. He has petitioned uh, Antiochus, and of course we know he is going to lead the way. That is that Bactrian army. Let's get these boys in there. I also... Let's have a look. Oh, those are all archers. Cavalry-wise, yeah, I would like to take these four cavalry in this army. Oh, that's not the right way. And then, yeah, so what do we have? We've got the archers... We've got the cavalry, and then the rest can just be the infantry. So, let's take four of these boys. And we'll take however much, how many was left. Six. And we'll take six of these boys. Oh, God, I keep misclicking. Get in there. <laughs> uh, and then the second army will be led by Argios. Argos. Uh, and yeah, we'll do the same thing. How many archers do we want in this army? I think we'll go for six again. This army's not going to have any cavalry in it, is it? No, unfortunately not for them. But it's going to be jam-packed. If, if we're not taking cavalry, we'll uh, get two more archers. We'll have eight archers in this army. And then, yeah, we'll take the rest as infantry. That's actually not going to be enough. We need five more units. God damn, this is going to be... This is going to be an archer heavy, heavy army then. Three archers there. In fact... Oh, that's fine. We'll take... Oh, I was going to take the median... The median cataphracts. See whether we can cancel any of these buildings. Anywhere, anywhere, please. There we are. That should be enough cash. My Lord. Yep, and I also want the Persian Noble Cavalry. So we'll get you out. And then we'll have a little bit of a sort of... How happy is this place? Will it be happy if we take those boys out? No, it won't. 
So we need to leave at least one more of these boys in there. Oh, messy, messy, messy. It's okay. Are you happy now? Yes, you are. Fantastic. You guys get in there. So that's our garrison sort of army. Uh, and then we want to be able to get the Persian Noble Cavalry and maybe the Median Light. Uh, oh, and the per yeah, Persian Noble Cavalry. Uh, maybe the Hyrcanians or the Medians. The Medians are better. So, yeah, cool. Uh, how much is that overall going to cost us? It's going to cost us... 3,500, so we need 5,000, so we need to find another building to get rid of. Somewhere down here, potentially. No, I don't want to destroy that one. Yep, and then, yeah, that might be enough. We shall see. That might be just enough. Nope, it's not. <laughs> need another 1,000 from somewhere. Another 1,000 anywhere in here, please. I'm not going to destroy that because that's such a small building. We'll destroy that one. Right. Yes. Fantastic. So, let's go fight this Bactrian army. Big, big battle. Big, big battle. And what I'm thinking of doing is... Oh, you can't actually reach. Oh, well. That's a bit embarrassing, isn't it? Like I said, lackluster today. Lackluster. I don't know what I'm doing. But let's have a look at this army. I mean, it's a real hodgepodge, isn't it? I mean, I think we can beat them with this, this guy. Real hodgepodge. There's a lot of experience in this army, though. That's one thing that's slightly worrying. But let's fight them. Let's fight them. Let's have a let's have a go. So I'll see you on the battle map, guys. Here we are. What a great battle map for us as well. Nice flat. Open plane. Get that in the middle there. Right, if we do this, it should have them organize it in that way. Yes, it does. Fantastic. Get these guys on fire at will. We're going to struggle against the Phalangites. But we should be okay for everything else. Get you guys grouped. We'll group you. All of you people who say to me you need to use groups. Here you are. Enjoy this. Enjoy this, okay? They should be grouped. They're all horse archers, aren't they? Yep. Uh, and then you two. Get you there. And then our archers. We'll stick them in front. And we'll try and skirmish with them for a little bit. Oh, hello. <laughs> Why have you come over here, boys? Very weird. That's like right to the side. I don't, <laughs> I don't know where that's come from. But okay, that's fine. What we really ideally need to do is take out their... Okay, just slow that down for a second. They're moving straight towards us as well. So let's get here. Let's get here. In fact, we need to go in front of those archers. And where's my cavalry? Cavalry's too far away from this. Our cavalry needs to get over there ASAP. They've gone straight for the... Straight for the kill. They, they're not waiting around. Our idea of, you know, skirmishing with them to start with is not really going to work, is it? Prodromoy those guys. So that's why they're coming forward so much. We should be able to beat them in melee very easily. They're firing at our archers, but oh well, I'm not too bothered about that. They're coming right close to us, so, yeah, good luck. I don't know what you're doing. <laughs> Fools. Skirmisher phase now. Skirmish phase. So, yeah, I'm hoping we can, you know... You know, flank them with our infantry, really. Just wait a second. We'll see how they decide to engage. I'm not bothered about those hoplites. I want to beat that Zista 4, right? Come on, fire away, boys. Beat that Zista 4, right? We've got a bit of a bit of Javi power over here as well. That's quite decent. What do they have? Hoplites. We've got a lot of skirmishes, but we have a lot of archers, so that's kind of, you know, a bit of a trade-off. One good thing is these guys, these Persian noble cavalry are actually really good in melee as well. These are... Uh, 
Median horse archers are not too bad in melee. 13 morale, but the 12 defense is pretty trash. So yeah, they're not horrendous in melee. They're not great, but they're not horrendous. Looking at it, I think this left flank is the flank that we're going to, you know, probably start to exert some influence. I really don't want to take those hoppertes on in the front before we have cavalry dominance. Which is going to be hard to get. So what I'm going to do is we're actually going to spread the hell out. Spread out. So that we can actually wrap around them. I think we'll win this skirmisher battle anyway. Because we have so many more archers. They should be able to fire up there without... Firing into our own men. I think they're mainly doing that. Okay, you guys... Let's move you even further forward. Yeah, they're taking out that Zista 4 when they're, when they're done, we can actually start coming round. These guys are taking a bit of a battering. Like I say, I'm happy to, to stand off them for now. Until we have cavalry dominance. This is, the, this is the hard thing. You know, if we're fighting the Parthians right now, they would have pretty much massive cavalry dominance. But we would have a much more compact formation. And try and... Beat them back with our infantry. Oh, we're on a slow-mo. Sh sorry, sh sh I forgot about that. What are those Sak Sapabara doing? Takabara, sorry. Not Sapabara. Sister 4 has gone for a big fat charge there. And these guys, let's get you round the back and flank the Hoplites. Don't know what the rest of the Are they withdrawing? No. Okay. That's fine. Uh, Sister Foray, are you still... What are they doing? This is very strange. Very strange. Very, very strange. You guys need to surround them. This allows us to just destroy parts of their army one by one, which is great for us. Let's get there. You guys get across. They're really upset by these uh, horse archers, aren't they? You really don't like these horse archers. Okay. That's fine by me. Not bothered at all. Okay, we've already surrounded and destroyed these boys. Get in there. I was going to use you boys. Yeah. They really don't like those horse archers, do they? Let's get a bit further forward. Where's our archers? Like, none of them are firing now. And get in this gap in the middle. Should be fully surrounded now. You guys, let's get you in front here. Let's bring you back. Should be good now. Should be able to fire at that Bactrian in General's bodyguard very nicely. Fantastic. Good. Once once we've sorted out these boys. That's the Zista 4 I dying. We should be good. Bactrian Hoplites are wavering. I wonder... Yeah, we can actually probably get a nice little charge in the side. That'll go through our own men. And maybe get rid of them. Yeah, there we are. Get out. Let them escape so that they rout. Yep, and look what they're doing. They're coming forward again. We've got our archers firing away. Okay. Did not see that coming or... Yeah, I was all, all the way on the other side of the map. But if we can kill the general, which we probably can't with these guys. Uh, let's get out. Let's get out. Let's, uh, let's not risk it. Let's just get away. Okay. Now we've got to very much worry about these new uh, phalangites. Okay, who are you? Who are you? Light Asian Spearman, you are not a problem whatsoever. Let's get into them. Okay, my guy on this flank is gone. The Takabara are actually a very good unit. That's part of the problem. Fire at them. The stats don't look great, but I believe they are armor-piercing, which is why we're having a bit of a problem against them. Now what we need to do is get these three. You actually get up there. 
You get in there. God damn. Go away. Who are you? Get away. Archers, get away. Takabara should not be able to take a charge very well, though. That's one thing. God. Phalangites are so powerful, aren't they? These median spearmen are doing very well. And you guys in there. Should have destroyed them. Good. Oh, here he comes. I think we can kill him now. Everyone charge. Surround him. What are you? I wonder how we do in a charge against the Tak... Takabara. Let's have a look. Come on, boys. Charge away. Bang. Ho, 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 ho. Yes. Come on, the boys. Come on, the boys. Right, now we should be able to flank on this side as well. This has worked out quite well. Yes, good. Good. Come on, my boys. My cavalry boys. I'm glad we've got these guys. We need to keep on making sure that we're recruiting... You know, um, okay, okay, okay. We've got broken them. You get into the back turn hoplites. And all you need to do, really, is get in the back of these Chalka Speeders. Surround those boys. That is the weakness of Phalangites. Surround them to pieces. Right. Uh, you boys, you're going to have to be bait again. Sorry, boys. I'm sorry. It's going to have to happen. I don't think this army will be fully destroyed. Uh, okay, you're a bit of gonna have a bit of a problem now. Let's get our archers up here. Around, this, yeah. You guys get in there. I don't know. I didn't. I tell you to stop. I must not have. If anything, we'll go into the back of those Chalka Speeders. Fire right, at them. Let's get these guys back here. Once these are done, you see, this. Right, now out, now out, now out. Now out, apart from you. You're already running. You're going to have to leave my general. I don't want my general to die here. Oh, they've already... They broke! They broke! They broke! Yes! Right then, uh, you guys, let's get you to surround these boys. If anything, you should... now. let's do that. <laughs> Love to shoot someone. These guys have done very well. This Chalka Speeders has been in that middle there for ages. So once these are done, they should have a, a free reign to surround again. Like we've seen before. Actually, you guys just go in there and just kill a few of those. You go there. I don't like these guys. How do they still have ammo, bro? It feels like they've had ammo for so long. How are we doing anyway? Yeah, we've got a lot more troops in there. Get there. You could probably fire into the back of the Chalka Speed. That's pretty nice. Hmm... They've, they've pretty much killed the guys in front of them. That's the one problem with that. Well, I'm glad we're near somewhere where we can retrain these boys. Because, yeah, goddamn. But what it's really shown us is that, you know, we should. be able, If we could get more of this cavalry, it's been so valuable. If we can get more of these mercenary cavalry units, that's 100% going to be needed. I don't want you firing there. Goddamn, bro. No, I guess actually you two could. I know we're going to have a bit of friendly fire, but it's fine. These guys really need to be finished with these Chalka Speeders. Should be killing them quite quickly. Look at that. They are starting to fall quite quickly. Yes, come on. Another volley. Let's go. That Chalka Speeders is dead now. Get you guys forward. We're going to use you guys, and we're going to charge in the back of that Bactrian Chalka Speeders. This has been a pretty good battle. I've enjoyed it. It's very nice. Good. Good fun. Harder than what I was expecting, honestly. I didn't think it would be this hard, but those Bactrian Chalka Speeders are very, very tough. Very tough. What we're going to do, we're also going to charge. We're going to rally the men so that our general does not... Oh, they just broken straight away with that. Fantastic. That's what we like to see. They don't like charges in the back, do they? At all. You carry on after them. They don't mind being surrounded. They just hate a, a cavalry charge in the back. What I'm going to do is I'm going to send you boys after them. And we're actually going to use... 
the rest of you boys to, to clean up this mess. Can't believe these guys have come back. Go away. You guys go. You guys, I'll bring you up here. And you guys can come that way. You guys fire at them. Get rid of the rest of them. Ah, well, we've cleaned it up now, which is quite nice. Let's speed it up. Let's go do that. Don't want my guy to die. That's the one thing. Yes, there we are. Nice. That should be everyone, right? Who's not... Oh, you guys. <laughs> Oh, well. I should start to use my um, archers a bit more in pursuing the enemy. I always forget to do that. Oh, look at that. 1,800. They killed 800, though. Go down. Let's have a look. We're 114, 108. Nice one. 145 by the archers. 107 by the archers. Very nice, indeed. Some really good results there. 119 by this Greek hoplites. Well done, men. Well done. A glorious, glorious victory. So I think what we'll do, we will actually retrain this army again. Just to make sure we're all good. And then, uh, yeah. We'll march forth back to the rebelling land. So I'll see you on the campaign map, guys. Here we are. Glorious victory. Like uh, Adimanthos has said. And that looks like it's... Has his stats gone up? I thought he was only like four stars before, but looks like they might have gone up. It doesn't say that they have, so I don't know. But anyway, great victory. Great victory. Uh, have we moved everyone else? Let's have a look. You need to get in there. Yeah, we'll, we'll wait a little bit. Uh, wait a little bit. Get this, get Bostra a little bit more happy, and then we'll go up to uh, Palmyra, which is up here. Which will be another similarly tough challenge, I would got to say. Oh, we're a bit jerky right now. What's going on? There we are. Oh, no, that's not even smoothed it out. But let's uh, auto-resolve that. 54 casualties, and we will enslave. Nice. And they're instantly very happy. They were not happy with the Ptolemies, but they're happy with us. So that's good. Destroy that. Very nice indeed. Uh, yeah. Build those. Nice. It's a minor city, which is quite decent. Did that make a town grow? It did. Biblos. Biblos. Nice. Very good. Very good. And then over here, yeah, we're still just kind of, you know, chilling out, waiting. Waiting to move out of Chaos. Uh, and then we'll, we'll combine our armies here. See what we've got. And decide where we want to go from there. Very likely we'll have to go after Delos. But firstly, we need to get this navy together and win, you know, a, a naval battle. Which <laughs> seems very hard to do on hard difficulty. So, yeah. Right then. Cool. Well, I think that's going to be it, guys, for today. I think that's been a predictive episode, no matter how all over the place I was. <laughs> you know, we lost a couple of settlements to rebels, which is fine because it allows us to go back and just enslave them, make them happy once again. Um, yeah, uh, we beat an absolutely monstrous Bactrian army there. It doesn't say that they, you know, were destroyed in that battle, but that's fine. I'm happy for them to retreat. Uh, and yeah, we'll come across over here, then pretty much straight round to Nisa, I'd probably say, with these armies. Then we'll come up, take that, take that. But there is... <sighs> Look at this. So Parthia has four. Four places now. Four! <laughs> That's slightly scary, honestly. I'd quite like to get a ceasefire with them, so I might get a, um, a diplomat. You know... Uh, yeah, let's get a diplomat. Let's see whether we can get peace with Parthia for now. Maybe take Nisa and then try and get peace. And then we can just focus on one at a time. Fighting on a two-front war, like, in that far north is not going to be fun. Um, especially with some of the armies and, and units that they get access to. So, yeah. 
let's see what we can do there. But anyway, guys, thank you very much for watching. Please do like and subscribe. It really does help the channel out. And I will see you all again on the next video.